Okay guys, welcome back. We're, next limb we're gonna look at is going to be the leg. This is a large uh, model, so it's gonna take some finagling as we twist and turn it around to try to get you the best views and the best aspects. We're gonna break this tutorial into a couple different sections. We're gonna look at the flexor group, the extensor group, the hamstrings and the quadriceps. We're gonna look at the adductor groups and some of the muscles medially and lateral. And then we're gonna move to the lower limb, the front and the back of the lower limb. So let's get started. Let's see if we can twist this right here. We're gonna work and start right here. We're gonna look at the quadriceps. Remember quad means four, so we should be identifying four major muscles of this group. That's going to be responsible for extension of the lower limb. The first three that we're gonna look at are going to be all vastus muscles. And again, it's directional terms. Vastus, since this is the medial aspect, is gonna be medialis. Since this is the lateral aspect, this is gonna be vastus lateralis. This is going to be the rectus femoris. Now we have to take off this rectus femoris to get our third and final vastus. This is the fourth muscle of the uh, quadriceps. This is the vastus intermedius. So let's review again. We have the vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius. This makes up three muscles. And we put this guy back in. and we have the rectus femoris. Those are the four muscles of the quadriceps. We're now gonna move to the rear of the leg, the hamstrings. We're gonna identify the three muscles that make up the hamstrings. The first is gonna be the biceps femoris. Again, we can see this muscle right here. This is gonna be one of our prime movers for flexion of the lower limb at the knee. Our next two muscles are located on top and below each other. They are both semitendinosus, T for on top, semitendinosus, and below is our semimembranosus, okay? Now that we're done with the hamstrings, we're gonna work our way to the glutes and wrap our way around the other side of the upper portion of this leg. We're gonna start right here. This is the largest muscle in the body. It is the gluteus maximus. This muscle on the side is going to be our gluteus, let's see if we can see right here, our gluteus minimus. So again, we have gluteus maximus followed by our gluteus minimus. We're gonna take this big muscle off, see if we can look inside. As we see, there's a couple muscles we're going to have to identify right here. The first one is going to be the gluteus medius. Okay, so we had the maximus on the outside, the minimus in front of it, and the medius underneath it. The next muscle we're gonna see right here is the piriformis. We're gonna rotate this leg a little bit, see if we can see some of the muscles on the lateral most aspect. This first muscle that we have here is our tensor fasciae lati. So this muscle right here, and you see it connects to this aponeurosis, this uh, sheet of tendon is our IT band or our iliotibial tract. Now, we're gonna rotate this thigh again and see some of the adductor muscles and the longest muscle in the body. You see it attaches way down here on the medial aspect of the condyle of the tibia and it straps all the way up to the iliac crest. This is gonna be our sartorius. Again, this is the longest muscle in the body. This is what assists and aids in you being able to cross your legs. This muscle on the innermost aspect, this band right here, this is known as the gracilis. We're gonna take our semitendinosus and membranosus off so we can see some of our adductor groups. Now, let's take the sartorius off as well. Now we can see this muscle right here and it's going to extend, so right here, and it's gonna extend all the way up behind all of these other muscles. This is going to be our adductor magnus, magnus for big. This muscle on the side here is going to be another adductor muscle and extends way down here. This is gonna be our adductor longus, longus for long. So adductor magnus, adductor longus. Now, the adductor brevis, the smallest of these adductor muscles is going to be deep. 
Now that we're done with the upper limb, we're going to focus our way on the anterior and posterior aspect of the lower limb. We're going to start anterior. The first muscle we see is going to be our tibialis anterior. As we start rotating laterally, we're going to see that we have another muscle right here. This one is called the extensor digitorum. Again, if you follow that muscle into the tendons, you'll see that it links to the digits just like we saw in the hand. Similar structure, similar name, just different location, same action. We're getting extension of the toes. So this is almost like dorsiflexion. We're going to see this muscle is going to pull these toes up. Again, extensor digitorum. As we move more laterally, we lie over the fibula. So we have two muscles, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. Now that we just finished the anterior aspect, we're gonna look at the posterior aspect. The first muscle we're gonna look at are these two heads of the calf muscle. This is the medi lateral and medial head. So again, the medial head of the gastrocnemius. This is the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. This is your large calf muscle. If we take this off, below it we see another large wide spanning muscle. It is the soleus. Now let's put this back on. Now I also want you to notice that on the sides of the gastrocnemius, you also see parts of the soleus. And we can go on both sides, lateral and medial, and you can see that soleus hiding right underneath that gastrocnemius. Now the interesting thing about these two muscles is that they both share a tendon. You'll see that they both are going to insert at the calcaneus, the calcaneal bone, via the calcaneal tendon or the Achilles tendon. Now, we're gonna take this off so we see some of the deeper muscles of the lower limb. Now, an interesting note, we, on the anterior aspect, we saw the tibialis anterior. Right here on the posterior aspect, we're going to see the tibialis posterior. We have two more muscles to look at as we wrap this lower limb up. The first one is going to be this larger muscle right here that, that's going to work its way to the big toe. This muscle is going to be our flexor hallucis longus. Flexor hallucis longus. The next muscle we're going to look at is going to be on the side over here. This, like our extensor digitorum, is going to flex the toes. This one is going to be our flexor digitorum longus. And that's gonna conclude muscles that move the knee, the lower limb, and the foot at the ankle.